Yeah. Man, what is good with y'all? It's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. And then we are back with another video. This time, we are reacting to AMP debates the N word. Now, look, I literally just seen a clip on Twitter and I was like, bro, I have to react to this. Because I got a, I got a, I got a controversial take on the N word. I ain't gonna lie. I got a controversial take on the N word. I'm not gonna say it now. I'm gonna wait till the end. I wanna hear everybody's thoughts and opinions. But boom, let's get straight to it because it's a 15 minute video. We don't like the long vid. So uh, I'm gonna start wasting y'all time and let's get straight to it. You're trying to paint this with a black and white brush and it's not that. I already got a white girl right, right in the beginning. White girl right in the beginning. That simple. Get, in, get her out of here. If I did that, it's called. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get wild. It's going to get wild, bro. I, th that clip I just seen, bro. Mm -mm. We gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, wait. Okay, they're doing different questions. Okay. If you must choose between visiting your best friend as he is dying or your child being born, you should choose your visit. Uh, you should choose visiting your best friend. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if if you look, if you're like AMP, those are like your brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even like a best friend type thing. So it's like, I, I so they probably view it differently than how they view it. I would probably, I gotta go see my boy. He's dying. It's two ways you can look at it. You know how many kids you have. <laughs> if, what? If you have. Damn. They packed them up real quick and then give them a chance. Like, I believe the wife comes. Okay. That best friend can wait. He's dying. We're talking about, we're talking about, he dying. Listen, I know, right. I know, no. but. So the, so the best friend can't wait. Because that's it. He's he going to die. He's going to die. But you also have one chance to see your child being born. So, so she immediately went to wife. She didn't even mention the child. She immediately went to wife. So the wife and the baby comes first. Nigga, I don't see that nigga tomorrow. Listen, 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 listen. They got videos now, pictures, all that. Like, all right, look, I met I met five amazing guys in my life, and if one of them in the ICU and they dying, I, I gotta go see them. I'm gonna be real. And that, I'm that's real. what I just said, bro. That's, that, they're I got brothers, you. And my bro. son, my daughter, I can see them. That's like, that's, a, that's like, it's like, oh, your mom. Like, if you switch the best friend up here to mom, father, like brother, over the birth of your child, I'm pretty sure people are gonna go with their mom. Like, come on now. <laughs> All right, but the next day I'll be with my yeah, kids. Yeah, we gonna leave my day. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I mean, the main thing is I can tell you don't have children, correct? Nah, nah, not no, yet. No, okay. I think the name so, was like it's only one time. I ain't never seen a name like that. Hold on. Let's, no, we, we can't just go past okay, that. Okay, so I mean, the Mo Trey. Call a nigga Mo or Trey. I'm not calling them both. <laughs> He's getting one or the other. You hear me? <laughs> like, Main thing is, I can tell you don't have children, correct? Nah, nah, nah. No, yeah, no, nah okay. Yeah. So, like she said, it's only one time you get that event. Based on what type of best friend you got, where I'm from, Chicago, one of my partners could have got into something. I know he hot. Do you hear me? <laughs> and if my wife, my beautiful wife over there giving birth to one of my kids, and you know, I just told you, hey, shit, water just broke. I'm going to be honest, I might uh, not fuck with my son. If I miss my man's dying. <laughs> what? You, you young though, so I can give you that perspective. He mad. He mad. Hello, like he mad. Hello. What's the stage? Hey guys. Well, I believe the wives come first. It's a lot of back women dying wife. of birth these days. Oh, you know so what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Run it back. Okay, so I ain't gonna lie. I'm a man. I don't know how it feels to be giving birth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, going through contractions and about to push out another human being. That's a tough experience. So so she's she's ta they're talking about the support. She needs she can't I think it might it might suck to do that alone. Cuz not only are you in the hospital room alone, but you also have to give birth alone. Yeah, that that's a that's a process cuz you're in the hospital room for a minute. So I I see it now. I see where they're coming from. It's like you can't just leave your wife there. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. Now I get it. Cause look, your man's your man's about to die. He's just, he's gonna die. You know what I'm saying? But then your wife has to go through that experience by herself. So it's not just about the baby, it's also about your girl, it's about your wife. Mm, it's a package deal. You know what I'm saying? If you have the opportunity, I believe you should go see your child. I see both sides, but I think we all looking at it from an aspect of 
absolute death. Or you could compromise. Spend time with your wife until she has the child. No, 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 he's dead. Nah, he's dying. He's dying, Joe. <laughs> no, he gone. Hey, hey like, there's God no, damn. there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. My dog is dying. He's dead. Yeah, he's dying. That's what I'm saying. Doctors may bring him back to life. Nah, he's dying. No, they say he's dying. <laughs> like, they, like, they yeah. made the call say he's about to get out of here. Like, you want to come see him or what? That's it. That's it. Hey guys, listen, I'm speaking from a perspective of being married for 23 years. Damn. I have four. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. It ain't easy. I know it ain't easy. Fun, Having four best friends for close to 50 years. Damn. Woo. My best friends and I will all agree that if it came down to it, to the birth of our child and their death, there's no way I'm turning my back on my wife leaving her in that position of giving birth. I love these guys to death. But when it comes to the birth of my, 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 my child, I wish you the best. I'll pray for you. I'll see you at the funeral. How would y'all feel at the funeral. if y'all father said, I didn't, I, I didn't get to see y'all? He did that, that shit, happened man. Before. That already happened. That already happened. That already happened. <laughs> that already happened. Wait, wait, what, if father, what if y'all father said? My pops ain't come through. <laughs> he need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> what if y'all father said I didn't get to see y'all, you know, get bo you know, born because my friend passed away? How would y'all make that feel? As a child, as an adult, you would say, oh, you know, you probably would say whatever, but as a child, you will always remember that your father was not there because, <laughs> because he went and got rescued. Now, 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 now. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I forgot he was bald. Look, look, he... I ain't gonna lie, bro. The ball look cool. That look cool. I don't look bad on bro. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, pack her ass out of there. I don't know what she was talking about. Now, what I'm saying is this for y'all. I'm just giving you something to look at. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let him get it all. Okay, let me see. Yo, girl should not attend her ex. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck that nigga, bro. The fuck? <laughs> what they gotta say about this? What's going on, man? I feel like she could go. Like, he dead. What? He ain't nothing he could do. She can't talk to him. They can't get back together. They, he, I'm just going, going to show my respect. Like, now, why you know she even know that nigga dead? He dead. Dude, what the fuck they gotta do with me? He done. Okay, they, don't have to, they don't have to do with you. But she gonna close that chapter officially. It's right. big. It's big. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? You no, know, unless your ex is your baby mom's or baby father. Uh, then that's then that's like, yeah. nah, I'm coming. I'm just gonna will. And what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm just gonna, I just gotta see what she gonna say and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna hear the eulogy? Oh, that was it. Okay, I guess I guess everybody agreed. Uh, you should pay for your girl's BBBL. Fuck no. Hell no. Nah. You're not paying for a BBL. No. I'm not okay. paying. I don't want to pay for my girl for BBL. You cheat, bro. That's no, fuck. I'm not being cheap. Because this is not the first time I done heard you say some shit like that, though. That you're not paying for shit. It's my girlfriend, right? Yeah. Meaning that I fell in love with her for her. Okay. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So look, hold on. Therefore, if she, if, she, if she comes to me and say, babe, I want to I want a BBL. I'm gonna say you don't need that. And 90, I ain't gonna lie, bro, 90% of the times, 99, okay. when a girl get a BBL, yep. it's to attract attention, bro. Okay. Let's be honest. Okay, but she's coming to you not for you to persuade her otherwise, like that she shouldn't get it. She's saying, babe, I want a BBL. I'm gonna say, I don't want you to have a BBL. Bro, buy the BBL, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. People get like cosmetic shit to like boost their own personal self esteem and shit, how they feel about themselves. So like veneers, BBL, yeah, all that shit is included because yeah, like yeah, veneers, veneers and shit like that. Okay. Yeah, but it's the same thing though. Like people get veneers because no, they don't like they yeah. smile and and it's affecting their self esteem. A BBL and teeth is is different, gang. All right, if she get a BBL and, and then she cheat on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> if I'm your your boyfriend, it is my job to make you feel beautiful as. as how you are right. Gang, I ain't gonna lie, I have a big forehead. Me too. Right? Damn! Me too! Look up, look up. Babe, Me too. Look, 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 Me too. look, babe, I wanna go to Turkey and I wanna reduce my forehead. She may not, like, she gonna be like, Oh no, like I love you for your like I She's supposed and, to say yeah, that. Okay, bro. okay, look. Nah, but shit, she loves me. <laughs> when you get a BBL, that's, that's not permanent. there's upkeep, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now she has to keep it up. This is ongoing right. expenses due to, most likely, on average, an insecurity she's dealing with. Because I have an abnormally large forehead. No, yeah, yeah, which fair, means fair, that, fair. you know, oh for, for a long shit. time, like, it was, it's different than what most people have. With enough character growth, I learned to love that this is part of me. There's a forehead reduction surgery. I will not be getting this shit. Dang, nobody stepped up for that? 
that's two rounds where nobody stepped up. Maybe because they're older and they're not really into that anyway. There was like two questions where they're probably not into that. They're not probably they're not into BBLs. So no one had nothing to say about it. Um. Oh, here come the good one. Here come the spicy one. Only black people should be able to say the N word. Okay, let's get it. This is gonna be spicy. I'm from Miami, right? Yeah. Okay. So Hispanics and blacks are deep down uh, in all the poor neighborhoods. We grew up around Cubans since 1981. They live on a block just like us. They got a mouth full of gold just like us. They talk like us. That's all they know. Now, if they might go to y'all states and city and y'all not cool with that, they might get flipped. They might get killed. You say the Cubans grew up with y'all, right? They leave Miami and go, go to the A. Somebody checked them about saying nigga. What's their excuse? They might get flipped. Might but I'm, I'm, but they're, they're what I'm saying though. They gonna get flipped. So, but it, <laughs> it's wrong now. I love the word. I feel like it's a derogatory way to use the word and it's a culture way to use the word. So who? They gonna get flipped. I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna start saying that. Hey man, look at me wrong, you gonna get flipped. <laughs> you feel me, you gonna get flipped. Um, let's see what bro gotta say. So, but it, it's wrong now. I love the word. I feel like it's a derogatory way to use the word and it's a culture way to use the word. So who can say it to then? In your friend group and you chilling, and that's how y'all talk. It's, it's just the way of speaking. It's not like you're not coming at them. Like you're not saying that disrespectful. Like, that means anybody If you're not saying you're, if you're not saying, if you're not saying you're, you're a nigga, like you're a nigga. Like if you're not saying it like that, then. Yeah, but, but you're saying, that means that you're saying anybody can say it then. No. Cause if I have my white friend CB, yeah, friend, yeah, CB come and I'm like, yo, CB, 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 come here, CB, 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 come here, CB, 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 C
Dominican or whatever the case might be, then I get what he's saying. Now he's saying like the the word nigga was originated in America. Um, so I don't know. But when it comes down to like slavery, slavery was everywhere over here. So I, that makes sense. I get it. Americans. My nigga. They didn't call yeah, niggas they niggas, they niggas, they niggas, they niggas, they niggas, 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 Listen, I want to start off by saying this. When I hear a white person say the N-word, it does feel weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ugh. Like, my ancestors are like, ugh, don't let them say that, right? But hear me out. If I'm going to be mad at any other race for saying the N-word in the exact same manner that I would use it, then I'm being a, a hypocrite. I can't sit here and use the word how I use it and be mad at someone else using it in the same way. You know what I'm saying? So if I say, if I say, man, I love my nigga, bro. I love my nigga, da, 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 right? If I say that, and then white, white dude come in and say, man, I love my nigga, bro, da, 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 da. And he's not, he's not being fake about it. He's not being funny about it. He's not being um, negative about it. He's being honest about what he's saying. I can't sit here and get mad at that because I also use the word. If you're going to bring up history and how it was used against us, then you should be mad at anybody from saying it, and you shouldn't say it yourself. If you're mad at the N-word, you shouldn't say it, and no one else should say it as well. And you should be mad if anyone else, even if they black, says it. If Samuel Jackson off the Django calls you a nigga, you're going to be pissed. And there's a, lot, there's a lot of Samuel Jacksons out here. You feel me what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't sit here and get mad at anybody else using it, and you use it. The N-word has become very, very popular, and has been in this kind of, in this kind of separated itself from like the original use. And so it's being used in such a way at a high volume by all of us, uh, media, music, you know, TV, all, all that. Right. And so it got to a point where it's not even used in that way. You know what I'm saying? So I can't if, if I'm going to continue to use the word, I can't I can't sit here and be mad at anyone else for using it because we're the only race of people who uses their slur the way that we do. We're the only group of people that does that. There's not another group of people who white folks don't call themselves crackers all day. They don't do that. We call each other niggas all day. All the time. So I can't sit here and get mad. I can't sit here and be like, you can't say the N word. Do you know what our ancestors went through because of that word? And then turn around and use the word. You know how dumb that sounds? If I don't like the word, that means I don't like the word no matter who uses it. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's my view. That's my take. Hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, look. In my my opinion, I think we should. Let me stop talking. I think you guys are trying to paint this with a black and white brush, and it's not that simple. Okay. I think it depends if you guys are both financially in the same place. My husband and I went through graduate school together. We were both poor, so we both were financially in the same place. Right. So we split rent, we split everything, even after we were married. From how I look at it, it's like, I'm the man, right? And I should be, you know, uh, taking care of my household 100%. However, I think that if in a scenario that I'm not able to, my partner should catch me on the way down if 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 I need that, because I know how life works. Your team. <laughs> I know how team. Life works. That's what it's all about, bro. As a black woman who dates primarily black men, I think that we should start paying attention to how, not all, but a lot of black men don't make as much as a lot of black women. I'm one of the women that probably makes six figures compared to a lot of black men that I've dated. You single now? Huh? No, no my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No no, 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 go ahead, though. The thing is, I'm not opposed to dating someone who makes less than me, but the thing is, the men I've come across that have dated are intimidated by what I make, and it becomes an issue to where they feel intimidated. How'd it make you feel? Did it make you sad? Yeah, it made me sad. How did your ex-partner make you feel like uh, it wasn't being appreciated? What was he doing? We're not going out, or if we're not necessarily seeing each other hmm. constantly like we were, and it's a money issue, then yeah, you would bring it up. I'm not, I'm doing everything but rent. Wait. Oh, rent? Wait. <laughs> Then that's on her. Uh, uh, so I didn't really understand how she explained that. Cause like if if they're not going out and things like that, and and it's a money issue, 
and it gets brought up. Who brings it up? Does he bring it up or do you bring it up? Who's paying for these dates? You make more. Who's paying for these dates? And, I, and honestly, on this question here, I think the man should be paying 100%. And if, you, and if you're not able to pay 100%, then you shouldn't be dating nobody. If you do fall off, she should be able to be there to help you. But at the same time, you are a man, you're a provider. And the reason why I say that is because with women like that, that make more than the men, they, they look down on the men. They, they're more masculine and you can't expect them to do anything outside of like, you can't expect them to do no, like no traditional, like woman stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you cannot expect your woman to, to cook for you every night, or you can't expect your woman to, you know, you know, do all the things you, you want her to do because she's the breadwinner. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't expect her to do that. You, you now have to kind of be in that role and and cook and clean and things like that if you're not working or whatever the case may be. Or or if, if it's to the point where you both are working and she makes more, then you guys have to share it. But again, I think when women get more, they they look they tend to look down. When we make more, we don't look down on our women. But women do look down on men when they make more. You know what I'm saying? So I just say, hey, don't get into a relationship until you're financially ready to take care of a woman and kids and things like that. Um, of course you want to build and things like that, but it's hard to build when you got to give attention to your woman and your craft. That's cause you're going to end up getting, giving 50% to your work, 50% to your woman. And they both need a hundred percent of energy. If that makes sense. So I don't know. I just say, wait until you ready, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I do too. I think as a man, you should, Take care of your girl. You know what I'm saying? I think you should take her on take her on nice dates. I agree. Take her on nice trips. If you can pay for her nails, I understand everyone does. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Girl car just broke down. Fuck it. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead, whatever you need. Hey, so wait, no, she get a new car. Fuck it. New car crazy. Fuck it. I'm serious <laughs> hey. though. But it's like, hey, but, but why but look, why am I in a relationship with someone that I care about? And if I, I I'm saying if you got it, why not? Your girl up 10 mil. Yeah, she better and go you, ahead. You, you know what I'm saying? Up, but she, she like you, though. I think everyone's dynamic depends on each person. As a man, I know it's about pride and shit like that, but Phantom asked you about the new car. Yeah. You said, fuck it, yeah. right? Flip it, you broke. And your girl trying to buy you a car. You I, saying, fuck it? I would want her to reciprocate that same energy because relationships are not just yes, transactions. It's I about agree. love at the end of the day. People, I agree. People aren't considering love, Yes. Bro. Depends on what stage of a relationship you're in with a woman. If you're just strictly dating, then you do what you do. You pay for dinner, things like that, basic transactions. But you don't pay her rent, you don't pay her car No, She doesn't probably even live with you at that point. Right. Right. But I still believe that a woman should partake. If you're young enough, you both are working, you're yeah. building for the greater good of your whole entire relationship. And that's what I'm saying, like like nine times out of 10, when you're young, you're not making as much. And so if you're young and you get into a relationship, nine times, nine times out of 10, you both have to go half and half. That's just what it is. But if you got it, and you and, and that's what I'm saying, you need to wait until you got it, and you should be taking care of everything. You're retired. Because, because guess what? Your woman, right? And again, I'm, I, I like the traditional way because I, I think it, it flows better, right? And I feel like you get more respect that way. But like your woman, um, like the household is like, you know I'm saying like, like she de she's decorating this, like this looks nice. Oh, 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 she's planning trips. I remember back when I was younger, right? That's an example, right? Like um, I, had, I had white friends. I had some white friends back in the day. And like, um, I think the dad was in the military, but he was, he was around because I think he was stationed there. The mom was always planning trips and doing cool things for us, bro. She, she, she had joy in that. You know what I'm saying? Like the mom always was planning trips and shit like that. And I feel like a, a mother should be on that type of timing to where it's like, all right, I'm gonna take care of the finances and make sure we got we got food in here, make sure everything's paid. I don't want you to worry about that. And then she has the time and the energy to um, make the house feel like a home. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not saying I can't clean. I'm not saying I can't cook. I'm not saying that I can't decorate, whatever the case may be. But um, if I'm just getting off of work, why do I have to cook? If I'm just getting off of work, why do I have to clean? If I'm just getting off to work, why do I have to do this on a third? Like all the time, not just like every once in a while, but all the time. That gets draining, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you take care of everything, everybody has their role. Everybody has their part. And, and, if, you're, and if you're a team, you work together as a team and that's how I look at it like that. But again, if you, if you're doing it like 50, 50, you both have to 
come up with a way to where, okay, I'm cooking this day. I'm doing this this day. I'm doing this this day on the house aspect because you both are going in on the house. You know what I'm saying? Make, to try to make it feel like a home if you're both working like that. But that's how I view it. Environment, everything down the road, your children, if they go to college or not, that's what your boats are working for. Like if I am doing 100%, if I chose to do that, I think a woman should still have shit going on financially. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. You don't want them to be lazy. Yeah, yeah. I, because I, if you're paying for everything, she should sign a prenup. Because if you're responsible for it all, then if you leave, you leave with it all. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. We're closing in on 7 million yeah. subscribers, man. Make 7 million. They deserve it. Hey, we're going to see y'all next week, man. Yeah. Bye. That was a good video, bro. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if y'all like what I had to say. Don't really care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, again, that's my reaction. That was AMP, uh, the base, the N word, and other things, and other topics as well. It's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. If you like this type of video, y'all want me to react to more Jubilee and things like that, let me know in the comments. And what do y'all think about the topics at hand? You know what I'm saying? Put that down in the comments. Um, that's my reaction, and I'm out.